All right, today I've got a video on a fairly unique house. We are in the uh, Sudden Valley area in Bellingham, and we have a house here. It was built in the 80s, and all it had for heat was a wood stove and then some 120 volt uh, electric panel heaters that really didn't do very well at all. And so we really didn't have any viable heat source in the home and the power bills were through the roof when it was cold so we opted for a full ducted slash ductless combination system this is one of two outdoor units this house is so long that we ended up having to put a second outdoor unit on the other end of the house that is a uh, three zone capable outdoor unit but it's only serving two zones right now um, this zone is a five zone capable serving three zones. So this is a 42,000 BTU hyperheat. The other side is a 30,000 BTU hyperheat. And I'll kind of go over what we have here. Um, we have got our branch box located outside in our NEMA rated enclosure. One set of lines is going up. Actually, two sets of lines go up here. One set hits uh, into that bedroom there for a floor mount uh, unit, a low floor unit. And this other set of lines goes up into this little knee wall attic space where we ducted an SVZ air handler that feeds the entire upstairs. There's three rooms upstairs. And so we hit all of those with steel ductwork and an SVZ. And then uh, around here, you can follow our speedy channel. This portion goes into a 15K GL head that heats and cools this entire basement area. And so that is how we split things up on this end of the house. This guy, we wanted to be able to make sure we had enough capacity to add some future zones later on. So that's why we went with the 5C42. But so far it's been performing beautifully. Right now it's 90 degrees, just kicking away. And then I'm gonna go walk over to the other side of the house so we can see that other system. So on this end of the house, we have this system here. It's our Hyperheat 30,000 BTU. And we had an existing 18,000 BTU Lennox single head ductless heat pump. That's why this speedy channel is painted but it never really worked. Uh, it wasn't a low ambient unit. But here on this end of the house, we have got two zones. We've got a floor mount unit that's actually right about here, feeding the kitchen. It's a 9K floor mount. And then over here, we've got an 18K head, wall mount head that's feeding the main living area. And so I'll take you inside and kind of show you how all this worked out. Okay, I'm gonna start here because the lighting is pretty poor, but here we are in the upper floor. We have an 18,000 BTU SVZ air handler here. This is our return air. Comes straight through this wall to a filter grill. And we have our supply trunk here. We have got a total of four registers coming off here. We've got one for the bathroom and then there are three rooms up here. And you can kind of see, it's hard to tell, it's all steel ductwork that we were able to fit back through this little attic knee wall, which worked out nice. That's an existing flex tech for an old fresh air system. It's no longer here. I'll show you where we put our ducts. So we've got one duct down here, all steel. one duct there another duct here and this is kind of cool we have these little rooms that open up you can see our ductwork running and our refrigerant lines that gave us room to work that was kind of the saving grace for this whole upper floor otherwise we would have had to do individual heads MHK2, and then last but not least, 
got this floor here, the register there. So that is the upper floor. Okay, so this is on the 30,000 BTU outdoor unit. So that's our floor mount that's feeding the kitchen. And then over here is our 18,000 BTU head. You can see where we're blowing this direction here to do this main living room. We are down in the basement. This is the 15,000 BTU head that is feeding this basement here. We're nice and open. And these little heaters here, are, those are basically what this entire house had. So really not um, a viable heat source here. But that's the basement area. And just with that one 15K GL, we have the louvers positioned to really throw air this direction. And we're keeping the doors open in these bedrooms and we really need more heat or cooling into those spaces.